So I'd actually like to start the discussion, this first video, in, uh, I guess, in reverse order. I have, I have a completed product here. So you're looking at this, what we call a half-wave dipole right now. Um, everything has been set up. It's already actually been solved. And let me just introduce to you where we're headed. So if you can just kind of follow along here, you'll notice that, um, you know, this is electronics desktop. We know that. We also know that there's different design types that are in here. This is called HFSS. So I'm going to um, ask you uh, soon when we do this from scratch to, uh, to insert an HFSS design. We've been working over here in Maxwell and now we're gonna be adding HFSS. Um, you'll notice that the structure is very similar and that I've got a tree, we've got excitations. Um, they're all gonna be a little bit different, but the, you know, some of this is gonna look very familiar to you. You remember we had ex excitations. Um, we also have um, some analysis settings that we'll be doing. We have results that have been analyzed. We also see our, our, our geometry structure in here that's been assigned to material. So I can see um, if, as I expand these out, the, the, the most important things here are that I have a material called perfect electric conductor, and I've got these two things that have been assigned to it, arm one and arm, arm this is basically arm two with a different name. So as I, as, I, as I click on these entities, I can see them show up. Um, I can also see, we'll, we'll, we'll get into this later, but you'll see these weird kind of names that are here that are uh, implying some sort of operation has taken place. And I'm going to have you do that directly. You'll also notice that there's this, there's, there's a sheet. It's not a solid. So this is a two-dimensional object that um, that's actually uh, what we call the port. And that's where the energy gets, uh, gets introduced to the system. Okay. So um, uh, those are the three things that we need for this dipole. Um, uh, the three, I guess, the three main things. And you'll also notice that we're, uh, this happens to be defaulting to centimeters. So if that's our units. We can always change those units if we need to. I don't know if I'm going to stick with centimeters or not. Um, but uh, what, what you're going to end up seeing is that we get an antenna. We, we, we talked about the gain pattern. If I go to results, and I actually don't need to do that. I'll have you do that. Um, but I already have results built and stacked here. So the one thing is when I double click on this 3D pattern, that's that donut shape that I, I don't know how much we've talked about half wave dipoles, but when we do in detail, this is expected. And what I'm going to do right now is to reference it. If I right click on that pattern and I, and I, and I choose to show it in the model uh, window, then that means when I go back up to this view and I double click the primary design, I can see it as if it's superimposed on top of the structure. And this is exactly what you'd expect for a, for a dipole antenna pattern to look like. It is aligned with the axis. So you can see um, through the transparency here that um, in the XY plane, I actually have my dipole aligned with the Z axis and we get the so-called donut pattern that is, uh, is surrounding that antenna. And that's, that is a gain value. So we're gonna, we're, we're gonna start from scratch and build all this. I just wanted you to know where we were working towards. Um, so you have a little bit of context as we move towards it.